Guess what I have? This arrived two days ago and it has taken everything in me to not immediately open it, but finally it is time. Before we get into it though, let's have a moment for my work outfit. I did just get off of work. Happy Saturday. I have some espresso from my work day. I got an off gato today. Okay, are we ready? Mm, I don't like the sound of that. Okay, at least everything's in the box. I had heard nothing but good things about these products until yesterday it was on TikTok and there was a video of a girl who got this package and like the products were outside of their box. So I was a little concerned about that. And she did make a good point about the influencers PR packages that these came in were so nicely packed. And this doesn't even have like packing stuffing. I kind of agree with that. For them to be floating around like this, especially through transport is a little concerning, but whatever, whatever. But at least mine, everything is in the box. So I just got a refill of the glazing milk. This is probably my fourth bottle at this point. I love this stuff so much. And I also got a refill of the little caramel peptide treatment. I'm literally finished with this one. And I had a different bottle of this. Like I bought this, but then I lost it. So I just got another one because they were sold out of the vanilla. I do like the vanilla one better. Now for the fun part. I got the sleepy girl blush and my cat just took a shit and it stinks. <laughs> and the salty tan this was like a duo and then i got piggy pink and shortcake which was also the duo so let's see what we're working with here cute okay i have a little bit of like lip left over from the day it kind of matches the color that i already have wait oh my god wait so good. This one doesn't have the little uh, beads. The biggest problem that I've heard people having with these little treatments is the beads that form and they kind of feel like it's an exfoliating treatment, but this doesn't have it so far, which I love. And the beads, like I also don't like the beads, but it's not enough of a flaw to be honest for me not to. <laughs> buy it because this is how I kind of use these products because they're so affordable. I use them as like an everyday lip treatment and I will apply this like five times a day. And I feel like if I'm using a nice treatment, I don't want to apply it so often as to not waste it. So I don't really care that they kind of come with the little bead thingies. Obviously I would prefer them not to have it, but as a really like casual everyday moisturizing thing, I don't really mind it like i wouldn't want to use for example my dior lip oil as like something that i apply every hour when i'm at work because this is expensive you know what i mean okay Ooh! oh my god she's so buttery i want to see how it feels on the skin but how pretty is that color okay next piggy pretty that's so pretty. Ooh, I like, I like. Last one. I'll just put it on top of this. Oh, nice. I like. It would probably appear better if I like had a lip combo on that would flatter this color, but whatever. But I like it. This one doesn't have the little beads either. Oh, okay, here we go. So I finally had something to get ready for, which is why I waited until now to open the box also so we could open it together. I was strategic about which colors I wanted to get. I didn't want to get like every color because why do I need six blushes? I don't. So I just got the colors that I thought would be good for me. Colors that I felt that I would use. Like this is the Rare Beauty liquid blush in Encourage and it's so similar to the mauve color Sleepy Girl. I just like a deeper blush and I got Piggy because it's summer and I don't normally like super bright pink colors like this, but when I saw Miss Haley Bieber swatching it on her lips. It looked so 
good. So I just, I really wanted to try this one. I don't really have brighter pinks like this. Like this is not a super bright pink, but it's brighter than what I usually do because usually I do stuff like this. So I wanted some range in the blush colors that I have. Anyways, my childhood friend turned 23 a couple days ago and she just graduated UC Berkeley. So we are going to a little dinner to celebrate. I kind of want to try a little no makeup makeup look in inspired by Miss Hailey Bieber in honor of these blushes. So we're gonna try to incorporate clean girl aesthetic look. When I think clean girl, I think Hailey Bieber and Olivia Jade. So we're going to try to incorporate the techniques that they use on the face today. Usually they underpaint. I feel like Hailey starts with her bronzer. And for bronzer, I'm gonna use my little makeup by Mario. A little history on my relationship with Rode. I was never kind of like a huge Hailey Bieber fan. So when she came out with Rode, I was like, whatever about it. Also, by the way, I have skincare left over from the morning and I just can't really be bothered to redo it right now. So we're just gonna go in. Anyways, I was never like a huge Hailey Bieber fan. I didn't dislike her or anything. I just like was kind of indifferent. So when she came out with Rode, I was kind of like, whatever. But one of my friends is a really big Hailey Bieber fan. So she always had the Rode products. And so I would kind of try them here and there when she was around. And eventually I was influenced. I started with this little peptide treatment. This was literally the first thing that I got. Eventually she came up with the glazing milk and I was really intrigued. So I got it and I was like, holy Shit, this is amazing. And so I tried the Skin Barrier Restore Cream. I like that too, but I haven't repurchased it just cause it is a lighter moisturizer. It's a really good daytime moisturizer. I would not wear it before I sleep cause I would prefer something a little bit more hydrating to last me through the night. And then she came out with the pineapple uh, cleanser thing and I got that and I really, really like it. As time went on, I. I just kept repurchasing this glazing milk and then I got the caramel peptide treatment as I was running out of this and I am a fully fledged road girly now. I love this brand. I feel like it's a really intentional brand and it doesn't feel like an attention grab or like a cash grab. Like it really feels like she put a lot of thought into it and the products are genuinely good. Obviously minus the fact that like these sometimes crystallize or whatever the fuck the problem is with it. It just doesn't really bother me that much. Anyway, so we have a little underpainting. We're gonna go in with concealer. I honestly don't use concealer that much. I feel like on my skin for some reason it like cakes really easily so I like to just use foundation but the clean girls don't like foundation so we're not gonna do foundation today. We're just gonna go in with my little concealer which honestly might be a little too pale for me because I am tan as fuck right now. Usually I see Miss Haley using a brush to blend in her concealer so we're gonna do that. Although I don't have like the right brush that she uses. I've really not been listening to a lot of music lately, but obviously we're gonna listen to Brat because Brat Girl Summer, it's giving Pale Girl Summer <laughs> with this fucking concealer. I'm gonna go in with some flawless filter because this concealer was just too white for me. <laughs> now for the fun part. Which one should we use today? Sleepy Girl or Piggy? I wanna go for something that I don't usually do. So I'm gonna go for Piggy today. I've seen them just put it directly on the face. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I feel like she, in all the videos that I've seen, just blends it with her fingers. Mm, I wanna use a brush. I don't love the way that blended. My fingers are a little sweaty, so it like kinda made it patchy. Pretty. Or let's see, if I just put it on my face and then blend it. Yeah, that worked too. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing the whole blending with my fingers thing, but this is good. Should I try to put on my lips? Because that's kind of something that they've done. Okay, cute. This is going well. Yeah, I like this. I knew I was gonna like it. Gonna go in with some setting spray. This video is so girl and I love it. Powder for the clean girl makeup look uses a very light hand. So we're just gonna get rid of that excess shine. Let's just layer this. Why not? Why not? 
so pretty. Gonna go in with some highlight. Fuck, I need to get a new one of these. I'm literally completely out. My eyebrows are done from earlier today, so that's really helpful. Yup, we're glowy, we're blushed, we're bronzed. It's very clean girl, very clean girl. I never thought that I would participate in posting content about this trend, but here we are. Oh my God, this espresso is making me ah. Okay, what is next? I feel like clean girl always goes for a really neutral eye. So I'm just gonna use like a light brown all over the lid. I feel like clean girl also doesn't do mascara. So maybe I'll skip the mascara for today. Okay, is that it for the eye? I personally like a little bit more definition. But I feel like if I do any more, I'm gonna have to do mascara. And I'm kind of liking this no mascara vibe and I really wanna commit to the clean girl makeup look today. So we'll just keep it at that. But we will be adding freckles because I feel like every clean girl makeup look I've seen does the freckle thing. I don't have a freckle product. I just take a dark brown shadow and like a thin brush and fake it. Cute. Okay, we're literally almost done. Gonna go in again with setting spray. Last thing, a lip. I'm just gonna use something natural. Eh, wait, do I wanna use something different? Okay, whatever. I normally don't start with a glossy lip. Like normally I start with a matte lip and then as the lip starts to fade, as I'm out, I will add a gloss because then it kind of blends in the lip liner that hasn't expired yet <laughs> and like my natural lip color. So it looks blended, but today we're starting with a gloss. I think I'll do salty tan. Oh yes. It's so good. I'm really happy actually that these don't have the little pearly thingies. Love, okay, we're done. Here it is, really light and fresh. If my camera's shaking, it's because I have the coffee jitters. It's outfit time, but I have so much time before I actually need to go. So I think I'm just gonna like chill out a little bit. Or maybe should we talk? Should we catch up a little bit? Maybe cat update? If you don't know what happened to my cat, I have a video on it explaining what kind of went down. But basically my cat broke both of her front legs. Don't know how, I was out of town, didn't see it, but it was really bad. And I thought I was gonna have to put her down because the surgery was estimated to be way too expensive for me to be able to afford. But everything ended up working out and she's over eight weeks into recovery. And we took her to get a follow-up last week and the doctor said she's healing. Healing a little bit slower than they would have liked, but healing nonetheless. She's right here. She's doing good. She seems like back to normal and stuff. The only thing is she can't make her little like loaf form anymore because obviously, basically she broke her elbows and dislocated her elbows. Like insane. How does that even happen? Like cats are supposed to be agile and nimble. And every time I've told people this story, they're like, how is that even possible? Like cats are supposed to be able to like catch themselves and like be totally fine, whatever. I don't know. It's fine. She's alive and well and she's recovering, but yeah. That's the cat update. And I feel like that's all I have. I gotta pee. It's 5.30 right now and we have a reservation at this dinner place at seven and I'm getting picked up. So I have a lot of time. Ellie Belly is a raver. <laughs> oh my God, I have a cramp. It's clean girl. Brat is literally the opposite of clean girl. Wow, what a fun juxtaposition of this video. Are we in fucking art class doing a fucking art analysis? No. Juxtaposition. Shut up. Okay, so figuring out an outfit. We need to keep it within the clean girl aesthetic realm. But what the fuck do clean girls wear? Wait, clean girl is very like plain tank and blue jeans. Boring, we're not doing that. Ah! Oh my god, I'm like dizzy. She's raving too hard. I hate this. This is not happening. I hate this vibe that's happening. I hate this. 
this. <sighs> I just know if I wear this, I'm gonna have pit stains because it's hot and I'm gonna be sweating. I actually have no idea. I need a second. Okay, I resorted to stealing a shirt from my sister because I looked on Miss Haley Weaver's Instagram and I fucking told you the clean girl outfit is just like literally something like this. I literally do not have basics like this. Everything that I have has a little fun twist to it. So my sister came through with this shirt. This is just not me at all. If I do these shoes, it's like a nice little pop of color. That's better. Mm. I have these pair of black jeans. They're a little fun because they have this little slit situation here. This is what I'm saying. Every basic piece of clothing that I have has some fun little twist like this. And I'm gonna wear it open. If I wear it like this, it's just not it, bro. And for the details, I changed my underwear to a little red moment. If it peeks through, it works because the red shoots. So hot. Whoa, the underwear is way too much actually. Um, we're gonna put her down. We're gonna put her back. It's still not feeling entirely right to me, so I don't really know what to do anymore. Okay, I have this like darker wash of jeans that are again, they look basic, but they're actually really fun because the bottom is like the top of the pant, which I love little details like that. Wow, it's really giving I love America with the red, white, and blue which I actually really hate. Not America, but um, the red, white, and blue. Oh no, it's way too America cacao. Oh my God, fuck. I had no fucking idea that it was gonna take so much effort to put together a basic ass outfit, bro. I'm just gonna go with my staple pant, my favorite pant in my closet, because it's still, this is like a basic fit for me. Well, hmm, maybe not the shoes. <sighs> I swear to fucking God. It's like easier for me to get dressed in the morning at work because I have a limited amount of time. It's the shoes that are the problem now, so. Jordan, Samba. I don't really like how like hype beasty this looks though. Whoa, what if I did none of these and went for a boot instead? We're really veering away from this clean girl aesthetic with boots, but I just don't think that aesthetic fashion wise is for me, it's really just not my vibe. I don't feel comfortable in it, so whatever. I think this is the best option so far. It's still like a basic outfit. I'm like a heel, no, mm. no, mm. no, no heel, calm down. Why do I wanna try a heel though? I'm gonna go with the boot, I like the boot. Oh, it's hot. I feel like the freckles that I put on are, oh, they're still there. Oh my lord, my lord. Oh, deodorant, hello. You know, if I have pit stains, it's just gonna have to be the way it is. And I'm also an anxious girl, so my pits sweat first. <laughs> oh my God, this coffee is like actually making me freak out right now, which is fucking weird because I literally take Adderall. <laughs> um, I am prescribed, so calm down. Although news, I am trying to quit. I've made up my mind trying to quit. Oh my God, that makes it sound like I have a fucking addiction. Maybe a little bit. No, dependency. Maybe slight dependency on Adderall. I like <sighs> looked up the side effects one day because I really felt like I wasn't able to catch my breath. And I was like, this is not normal. I also get nosebleeds a lot. The side effects freak me out a little bit. So I've made the decision to start to quit. It's just like such a big part of my routine that it's like hard to remove because I need something to replace it, if that makes sense. So I've been drinking a poppy when I take my Adderall to kind of hopefully signal to my body when I drink my poppy, it's like time to work. If that makes any sense. If you take Adderall, maybe you can relate. I don't know. I'm starting to sweat now. I also like never really thought I would talk about my Adderall situation until I maybe like fully quit, but I'm just trying to embrace where I'm at while I am here and stop feeling like I need to get to a certain point before I can share certain things. Oh my God. What the fuck is happening? So I'm choosing earrings. This outfit is really giving silver, but I feel like clean girl is gold. Ah, 
I almost just fucking ate shit. I don't take Adderall every day, by the way. It's just when I need to focus for like a long period of time. See, this just, it's not really working. We're just gonna do these little droplet earrings. Oh my God. This caffeine is doing too much. I feel like I'm about to puke. It was not smart to drink the rest of that fucking espresso. I literally was already feeling it and I was gonna save the rest of it for tomorrow morning. I don't know why I decided I wanted it right now. But we must persevere. Bag? Bag. Oh my God. What the fuck is happening right now? I have never reacted this way to caffeine before. Oh. Purse, keys, and... And that's all we need. I'm gonna sit and like collect myself a little bit. Oh my God, I know why I'm feeling like this. It's cause I didn't fucking eat lunch. Duh. Oh my god, she's here. Goodbye. Guess what I ha- Oh god. So sorry. No. Do 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 do. Now we're gonna go in with no, no. My sweet love. about what the hell bro 